Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing great. We got back from our family thing the other day and it was a blast. The dogs are exhausted still. Um, but today, despite the laundry I'm doing, I am going to make some snacks. Um, I found these on Pinterest while I was looking for um, like a recipe for chicken tenders. And I was like, that looks really interesting. So basically what it is, is they are like frozen snacks. Ooh, you cut up a banana, you put peanut butter in them, so then it becomes like a sandwich, a banana sandwich, and then you end up dipping them in like chocolate. So that's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. And I thought I would show you guys some of it. So full of self-confidence And everything you said made a lot of sense I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain We see the distance grow Okay, so the bananas are too slippery. So I think what I'm going to do, well, what I am doing, I'm putting them in the freezer after cutting them. And I'll leave them in there for, hmm, I don't know, probably a couple minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully they'll get a little less slimy. And then I'm gonna try and put the peanut butter on them. I don't want it to waste the peanut butter or anything. I just want it to be done the best way. And from what I understood from the recipe, you were supposed to put the peanut butter in between them and then put them in the freezer. So we'll just add a little freezer time, I guess. So I'll bring you back when we actually get them. Either, well, I'll bring you back once I get the peanut butter on them and we're dipping them in the chocolate. Because that'll be the fun part. So next what we are going to do is melt the chocolate. Oh, it's so hot that there's already a bunch of oil melted, so that works out really well. I think I might need like just a slice bit more. It's hot here. Which is funny because I was like probably just complaining about how cold it was here and now it's now it's hot. So. The coconut oil is just uh, to soften the chocolate when I'm melting it, and I'm just gonna melt it in the microwave. So it's nothing special. I'm melting it in 30 second increments. So.
Okay, so that melted really good, but I think we need just a little bit more chocolate. So I'm gonna do another half of the bar. This is literally just random chocolate. I found it all these. You can light up any room without going in. Funny how just a few letters in a row can turn into a smile, and now you can let go. Oh, oh, we see the distance grow. I just need to know. out good and we like them I'm gonna make some more but I think they're gonna turn out good I am trying to get back into like working out so I want to have some snacks that are necessarily bad for you but not necessarily good for you but that are a good source of energy and bananas they're good for you peanut butter is a good source of uh, protein and chocolate although it's not necessarily a healthy sugar it's a sugar so that's kind of my plan here that's what this whole idea was and I think I might also if I can find some some oats I may also make some no bake breakfast bars but we're gonna we're gonna think we're gonna wait on that we're gonna wait on that So I got a box and I thought I would just open it and throw it into my cooking vlog. Why not? Oh, I am opening this upside down, aren't I? Oh well. Hopefully it's what I think it is, but with me, who knows? I bought like period underwear. I don't know if that's weird, but hoping that's what this is. Oh, it is. They're supposed to like, oh, Bobo just knocked my camera. I don't know if you've ever heard of like, I think they're like Muddy Buddies or something like Muddy. They're, they're not what you're thinking about, like not the food. I think they're like an Australian brand, but for your period. So I got these from Sustain, which is or grow cells it with them. So that's exciting, I'm glad I got that. This is mint. I don't know if we're gonna like it, but it was like a limited edition scent, so I got it. This was supposed to get to me a really long time ago, but something broke in it when it was on its way to me, so it didn't get to me until now. So I literally just checked today to see where it was. And this is um, doggy baggies because I was out. So I'm glad those came because I am like actually almost out. Oh, I am doing a chicken tender recipe off of Pinterest. Um, I didn't do it completely to have it 
tells you to in the recipe. So I didn't show you how I prepared these just because I did it differently and if it doesn't turn out, I'd rather you guys have the actual recipe. Um, but I'm gonna leave that link down below, same with the other recipes I did in this video. So this is my egg mix, egg and milk. This is my flour mix, flour and some other things, spices. And then this is my breading mix. And once we start making them, I will show you us making a few, and then I will show you them done, and I will give you my opinion on how well I did. I'm sure they'll taste just fine though. So, on another note, while I wait, I'm waiting for the chicken to finish drying and de-thawing, um, my bananas are right here. They're a little frost frosted over because then the freezer turned out really oh I don't even think you can see a watch out bubble it turned out very very nicely um Tim approved and I approved go and I also need these little guys they're supposed to be like sandwiches um, but we decided to make them into balls. They're basically like, like a protein ball. Um, we already ate like half of them. Um, they're just packed full of protein and just like get me going. So I'll leave these linked down below because I also got them off of Pinterest and we just made them last night really late and it was so worth it. I'm gonna eat one right now. Mm. And they're so simple. It's basically just oats, chia seeds, honey, and peanut butter. Yeah, we add some chocolate, and I think that's the only thing we really changed to it. So good. You should try them.
of the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah, I know that